looking good. Okay, so I, I realize it's pretty late in the day, last day of the conference. Uh, I probably want to get up and move around, leave even, do that during the next talk. That's fine. It's just Jason, organizer of the conference. He won't mind. <laughs> I want to talk about Franken monitoring. And I, uh, that means a very specific thing to me. I want that to mean the same thing to you uh, by the time I'm done. What I mean by Franken monitoring is when you stitch together a bunch of different monitoring tools to one effect, uptime. It rarely works that way, though. In fact, when you use a lot of different tools, open source or paid for products, what ends up happening is it's really, really ugly instead. It's got bolts on its neck. And make no mistake about this, it's very, very good cause to be ashamed. If you've done this, you should be embarrassed. This is like going to the prom with your cousin, the ugly one. <clears throat> Not okay. Don't do this. It starts simple enough, though. Uh, you've got your application, and you want to add tooling around it. You want to give your developers some support for debugging, or you want to catch alerts as they come in, you know, issues with production, 500 errors, or you know, any other uh, of your different issues. So you add logging, and it works. Well, kind of, anyway. You, you find it's missing some things. Maybe every once in a while it misses some logs. Every, every once in a while it gets duplicate logs, can't handle multi-line entries, whatever. So you, you say, okay, well, that, that, that mostly worked. Uh, let's fill in the gaps. And so you add in some metrics. And that, that works, kind of. And, and you're left at the end with a monstrosity. Right? You're never happy. And there's so many different tools you can use. And you find out after you've done all this, developers don't use it. In fact, it's really difficult to get anything done. Right? It, it, it can't be controlled, it can't be understood, can't be modified, it's very temperamental, just like a real monster. And you, you gotta step back, you gotta say, hey, enough's enough, what is going on here? We signed up for uptime, and instead we got a bunch of dashboards and tools and metrics. We're inundated with these metrics. What we really want is uptime. I blame it on the ecosystem. I, I don't think there's any one bad product. Uh, there are many products here, and, and in fact, I, we at Lucid use many of them. There's nothing wrong with them. I think it's the ecosystem in general. It causes three main problems. First is cost of evaluation. When I decide I want a new tool, I have to go spend a lot of time finding which one I want. Does it work for me? I have to con be concerned with pricing. Can we even afford it? Does it do the features I want? Can we understand it? Will it work with my teams? What's their uptime requirements? Is it going to work? Right? There's a lot of investigation that has to go into this. And so I want you to meet Torgi. No, this isn't my cousin, and no, that wasn't a real story anyway. <laughs> but Torgi, he works at Lucid Software. And he's the guy, every time we want a new tool, we tell him, hey, Torgi, go make it happen. And he disappears for a month. And we don't see him. And every once in a while, he'll come back and say, you know what, there isn't anything better than what we already have. It doesn't work for us. We know that, but that's the best we got. Uh, just because we have such strict requirements, it's probably the case you guys have uh, similar requirements. But my point here, though, is it takes a lot of time, energy, money to even look for new tools. Second issue, lack of context. When we get into this Franken monitoring uh, mindset of uh, you know, all, all these different tools and stuff, uh, what happens is that no one tool can tell us all the information. So we end up with false alerts, false positives. So quick raise of hands. Who has ever taken an on-call rotation? This should be like a lot of people. Who's ever gotten a false alert? Keep your hand up. Who's ever gotten a false alert at night and was happy about it? Yeah, that's how I feel. It's really stupid. I feel that a real set of tools should be able to tell me what I'm looking for. They should be able to tell me what type of metrics correlate. I should be able to get an alert that I didn't even know existed because it said, hey, there's an anomaly here. You need to investigate. Or if I get a lot of false alerts, it should say, you know what? I recognize those are false alerts. That happened last night. Enjoy your sleep. Enjoy your brain cells. Third issue, time to resolution. Uh, th this 
uh, plays heavily into the five nines of availability. So five nines, you have five minutes every year that you can be down. If you spend 30 seconds even on investigating one issue, you've lost a lot of time if you're stri uh, striving for that in five nines. I blame it on the various dashboards, and I'll tell you a story on the next slide. But uh, with the dashboards, I frequently run into these issues, time zones. I'll have two dashboards side by side, and I've got UTC over here and Mountain Time over here, and it is frustrating. It confuses me every time. I worry about time ranges, because every time I log in, it goes to my default time range. And then filters, which servers, which metrics. <clears throat> Here's an actual issue that occurred on October 25th. The last year, it drove me crazy. I got an alert. Uh, 500 errors out the front end. So I went to PagerDuty, clicked on the link, it took me to Logly, I logged in, found the thing, it said, oh, you, you got 500s and it wasn't enough information, so I had to go to Datadog, logged in, did the filters, dashboards, everything. Wasn't enough information, so I went to AWS EC2. <clears throat> uh, and uh, I finally got it, I spent two minutes in diagnosis. It's not a lot of time, right? However, each minute, not only does it affect your five nines, it also affects your cost. It's your time, it's your customers, and it's very expensive. Just the two minutes of diagnosis alone at Lucid cost us $11,000 if Gartner's to, believe, be, to be believed. I like these products. Now, I displayed a few uh, of the products there. I, we actually like them, nothing against them. What I'm really trying to say is this sucks. I wish there was something better. I wish that I could have those three problems gone. I wish that we could really solve the ecosystem. That, that's my rant, that's my main problem. Feel free to clap if you agree. Thank you, I appreciate your time.